Hello, my name is Robert Dingwall and I'm the editor of Symbolic Interaction. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about what's happening with our new issue, which is the first to be produced by the new editorial team. It's myself, uh, Tom DeGloma and Stacey Newmar as associate editors and Pat Hume as managing editor. It's also the first with our new publishers, Wiley Blackwell. Symbolic Interaction is now 35 years old, so I guess you could describe this as our ruby year of publication. It's benefited from the input of many committed people over the years, both as editors, as reviewers, as authors, and indeed as publishers. However, we are beginning a new chapter here. In our introduction to the issue, the editorial team spell out our thinking about what uh, the mission of symbolic interaction uh, should be for the 21st century. In doing that, we try to redefine uh, what uh, we understand by symbolic interaction. After all, it was only in 1937 that uh, Herbert Bloomer uh, coined this uh, term in what he later described as a bit of a, uh, a sort of uh, fit of, uh, of neologism. And before that, really, he was, we were just talking about, you know, this is how people did sociology. <coughs> um, it wasn't anything very special, it wasn't necessarily a cult. Um, it was the kind of sociology that Americans in particular did, uh, which was strongly under the influence of pragmatist philosophy, as a way of thinking about uh, meaning in the world, about the nature of knowledge, and about the, uh, the nature of relationships between human beings. But that uh, only uh, encapsulates really a, a small part of the tradition that symbolic interaction draws on. If one looks at some of the other figures, apart from Bloomer, who would often be considered as key influences, people like Everett Hughes or Irving Goffman, uh, we can see that although both of them are broadly influenced by pragmatist thought, uh, neither of them positions themselves uh, narrowly in that tradition uh, with a, the sort of debt to George Herbert Mead that, uh, uh, that, that, that Bloomer acknowledges. One can also recognise that the, the pragmatists themselves, the, the philosophical tradition in particular, has very strong German roots in the, the work of Kant, um, but many of the key ideas are really traceable back to Scottish Enlightenment thinking of the 18th century. Work of people like Adam Smith, particularly in his first great book, The Theory of Moral Sentiments, and of, uh, of David Hume. And that tradition is taken up in uh, various ways. Um, goes through the Germans in particular, through Kant, uh, and into a quite separate line of, of dissent. Um, it ends up in the work of people like uh, like Alfred Schutz or Aaron Gervich. Uh, it ends up in ethnomethodology and conversation analysis as we would know them today. And I think our concern as an editorial team is very much that uh, symbolic interaction should be a journal that serves the whole of that family. And that's something that we set out and we describe in our introduction. And we're particularly pleased to, to mark that by uh, carrying uh, uh, an obituary uh, from Douglas Maynard on the, uh, the life and work of, uh, of Harold Garfinkel, um, who really is one of the great figures of 20th century sociology, um, somebody that we're very proud to honour as a, a member of the family as uh, somebody whose work made a distinctive and original contribution to thinking about uh, uh, the relationship between sociology and society, about the nature of social order, way in which this is fundamentally constructed out of the situation. But we haven't neglected um, some of the more traditional themes of symbolic interaction. Uh, we're carrying a paper on the work of Charles, Gordon, Charles Horton Cooley, um, we're carrying um, empirical studies of issues around transgender, issues around social movements, um, issues around politics in the classroom, uh, a particularly topical subject for many of us at the moment as uh, uh, 
teachers and schools come under considerable pressure from politicians to, um, to, to orient their curriculum, to orient their pedagogy in particular ways. And the, uh, the paper explores some of the issues that that gives rise to for teachers um, uh, among themselves uh, and in their confrontations with students. We have exciting plans for the future. We hope that there will be future vidcasts of this kind. Uh, we hope we'll get to know many of you as readers much better over the uh, next five years as we see through our tenure as uh, an editorial team. And uh, we hope to take uh, particular advantage of many of the innovations that uh, the switch to Wiley Blackwell uh, enables us to, uh, to benefit from. Um, particularly the opportunity to uh, offer video alongside uh, conventional uh, print narratives um, to think about the, the nature of journals in the 21st century in a, uh, an environment where uh, technology is rapidly changing, means of delivery are rapidly changing, uh, where there are many debates about the nature of intellectual property uh, in journals, um, who should own it, who should benefit from it. We hope we can position symbolic interaction at the heart of these debates and contribute to them. But above all, uh, I want to uh, leave you with a very clear message. Um, we welcome your interest, we welcome your work. We see symbolic interaction as a, as a broad church, an extended family of people with uh, important things to say to each other. and. Uh, perhaps more distinctively, important things to say both to the wider discipline of sociology and to anybody who cares about how we understand the world of everyday life, and the nature of organisations, the nature of human social relationships. Symbolic interactions have always had a distinctive voice in these debates and we see it as very much our role to, to articulate that in a non-sectarian way that will speak to the widest possible audience, both uh, within and outside the discipline. Uh, I hope I'll have the opportunity of talking to you again on future occasions. I hope that uh, other members of the editorial team will be able to introduce themselves over the next few months. But most of all, I hope you'll enjoy reading the issue and uh, recognising that symbolic interaction has a very strong mission to be the uh, home of choice for the, the best work in the field. We look forward to seeing your manuscripts and uh, we also hope you'll be prepared to support us by, uh, by refereeing them from time to time. Thank you very much.